To create the flower vase design, you need to add the cylinder with the six words. Then you need to move the cylinder along the z-axis and take it on the floor. Change the transform pivot point to 3D cursor and then scale it along the z-axis. Adjust the scale little bit. Then add the center loop cut, change the transform pivot point to the individual origin and then scale it along the x and y axis. Then turn on the x mode, select this bottom words and then scale them. Then select the center edge loop and then control B add a bevel on it. Add 4 segment bevel and give the right bevel width. Then you can select these edge loops and then adjust their scale little bit to get good curve form. Then select this top and bottom faces and then delete them. Then you need to add the center loop cuts like this. Then select these edge loops with a shift select. Then right click and then use the set flow to create a good edge flow. Then you can add the center loop cuts like this. Now just rotate it into the 30 degree angle so you can see it from the front view very well. Then you can select these words and use the edge slide, double tap G for the edge slide and move these words little bit along with the axis. I want to create a design add there so that's why I need to use the edge slide add there. Now you need to select this corner edges and then control B add a bevel on them. Add a 2 segment bevel and give the right bevel width. Then you can add few more loop cuts like this. Then select these edge loops with a shift select. And then use the set flow to maintain the good edge flow. Then add the center loop cut like this. And now you need to select the faces in a proper way. So select the faces like this with the shift select. And then use the insert operation on them. You can see I am facing the little bit of difficulty with the insert operation. So that's why you need to apply the scale. And then use the insert operation. And give the proper thickness amount at there. Then you can select the remaining faces and use the insert operation on them and give the same thickness amount. Then select all these faces and then use the insert operation and then use the loop tool and then circle. And then you can press Alt S to scale them along their normal. Then add the subd modifier and increase the subd count up to 2. And now you can see I am getting different design at there. You can use the insert operation add there, then increase that selection and use the insert operation one more time. And you will get this kind of design, which looks really well. I'm just showing you how you can get the different designs with the simple tricks in the modeling. We can try another design also. Use the insert operation and then press Alt S to scale them along their normal. And then scale it down little bit and then press I for the insert operation and then increase that selection and use the insert operation one more time and then add the subd modifier and increase the subd count up to 2 and now you can see we are getting different design with a small tweak so in this way you can create different designs now you can select these face loops and then delete them select these faces increase the selection and then delete these faces you will get this part now change the transform pivot point to the 3d cursor then select everything and shift D to duplicate it and rotate it into the 60 degree angle. Then select everything and then one more time rotate it into the 120 degree angle and just try to complete that circle. Then select everything and then press M and merge by distance so double words will get merged. Just increase the merging distance. So you will get the proper connected part. And now that's look good. Now just select the stop edge loop, use the loop tool circle option. Then select that edge loop and then dissolve it. Then select this edge loop and E to extrude it and move it along the z-axis. Just try to create the neck of the vase. And that's look good. Just select this bottom edge loop and then press F to fill the gap. Then use the insert operation. Then use the insert operation one more time and then use the loop tool circle option. And scale it down. And that's look good. You can delete the face add here. And here you can use the grid fill. Then you can create the sharper neck like this by adding the loop cuts or you can create the curved neck. I'm going to keep the curved neck at there, that's look really well. Then select this top edge loop and then adjust the scale little bit along the z-axis. Then E to extrude it and scale it along the x and y axis. And now you just need to create the inner part of the model. So that's why just you need to extrude it and you need to add a few loop cuts and you need to scale them and easily you can create it. 
then add the supporting loop curves to maintain the form and now that's look good you can see easily we have created this flower vase you can see it's matte cap view you can see it's topology with the small tweak in the modeling you can create different variations of the design you can see this is another design which i have created with a small tweak in the modeling just you need to experiment with the design and your modeling so you will get a different results so that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit the like button and subscribe our youtube channel bye bye so next video take care